Let me talk to you a little bit about what electrofishing is. It's a sampling method in which we can quickly analyze the health of a lake. In essence, we're, me we're going to weigh and measure bass. We're going to put them up against a standard table to determine their health. Much like a body mass index for humans, bass have the same thing. It's called a relative weight chart. We know that a 16 inch bass should weigh 2.2 pounds. So let's talk a bit, little bit about it. Let me grab a fish here. So this is actually one of the thinner ones we'll weigh and measure. This is, fish is probably 15, 16 inches. He's 15 and a half inches. Cole's gonna weigh him. And we know that a 15 and a half inch fish should weigh 2.03. How much was he? 2.05. So he is slightly over 100%, which is good. Unlike humans, we want our bass to be overweight. So that fish is about 101, 102% of the weight he should be. Here's another one. This is probably the one of the thinner fish. This fish is probably 21 inches. 21 and a half inches. 5.62. 21 and a half inches, 5.62. He's just under 100%. He's about 95%. So how the boat works is we create an electrical field and the droppers out here, these are the things with the little cables hanging off, that's an anode and the boat is a cathode and it creates an electrical field and the fish are not harmed, they're temporarily stunned. It's much like you touching an electric fence. You just kind of go, ow! So the fish, yep. they float to the top and then we're able to net them. We safely put them in the live well here and this live well here is about uh, 75 to 100 gallons. We run an aerator to keep them alive, and then we weigh and measure them, and then we release them back into the lake. One of the main purposes of electrofishing is really for us to assess the forage base. When we assess the forage base, that allows us to make certain recommendations. For instance, if all we see is giant bluegill like this, most of you say, well, that's great. What we need to see is we need to see all sizes of bluegill. And particularly what we really like to see are the size that's that three to five inch size. I call that the coveted size. That's the size that the bass like to eat. Once they get over seven or eight inches, it's very hard for a bass to eat a seven or eight inch bluegill. However, we like those bluegill and we do not like you removing them because those are our baby makers. That's what's making more food for the bass. So release all the bluegill. The other thing we're assessing is, are there any other forage fish like shad or tilapia? Uh, so usually those are put in by the landowner at a separate time, but the main forage base at all private water fishing lakes is bluegill and often red ear sunfish, but you guys would just call them sunfish, perch, brim, whatever you want to call them. It's all kind of one and the same. I hope you enjoyed learning about electrofishing and how it helps us manage our lakes. Our goal is to give you great places to fish. Remember, one lake, all day, all yours, totally private. Check us out at privatewaterfishing.com.